Okay, so make sure the first thing that you're doing is washing your hands because washing your hands is very important. It gets out the dirt. Obviously, if you're going to be cooking, you need to wash your hands. That's the first thing. So now I'm going to be taking the shrimp. It was already peeled. I thought it wasn't, but when I poured it into the drainer, it was. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it now. Cleaning your meat is very important. Um, it just is it's very important. So make sure whenever you're cooking, you always clean your meat first if you eat meat. So I was having a hard time opening it and now I'm pouring it into the drainer and I'm just going to clean it and mix it around until I feel like it's clean. Okay, now that I feel like the shrimp is clean, I'm just going to place it to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and pour my chicken broth into the pan that I have here. So first, before you pour the chicken broth into the pan, you just want to make sure it's clean. I rinse it out and pour the chicken broth in. This is chicken broth from Target. It really doesn't matter what kind of chicken broth you use. It's all the same thing. I was trying to get a feel and a measure for how much I should use. But I ended up using the whole entire thing, so just go ahead and pour it all in there. It depends on how much you're making. I'm only cooking for me and one other person, so... And now you want to turn your oven, your stove on a medium heat um i had it on like high between like medium and high just because you want to bring it to a boil 
and um yeah now i'm gonna just wait until that boil. okay so while our chicken broth is boiling i'm gonna go ahead and make the bacon so the first thing i like to do is apply butter to the pan so, because it just helps the bacon to have a little bit more flavor and i feel like it makes it come out a little bit more crispier and perfect to me and my opinion but this is optional so just melt that butter on the pan as so and um apply the bacon and that's pretty much it and we're going to keep it on a lower heat level which will you'll see why later but you want to cook it fully until it's golden brown ish but just don't burn it bacon sizzle yes it looks so good okay so that's just about done now we're at a boil with the chicken broth so we can go ahead and start adding the grits to the pot and that bacon just looks so good i'm gonna throw in on that one okay so now the bacon is done as you saw so i'm just gonna go ahead and take it off of the skillet but do not wash the skillet leave the bacon grease on there um because you're gonna need it so now that the chicken broth is at a boil i'm just gonna go ahead and add the grease in there uh, i can kind of eyeball it and see if how much it is i'm not sure the exact measurements that i used again i'm making a serving of two so you only need you just have to eyeball it like my great grandma made me grow up on this type of food so i'm pretty good at cooking it um because i eat it all the time so if you want to follow the measuring instructions you can it should be on the box but now i'm going to take the bacon grease and this is essential it should be heated already uh and just go ahead and add your shrimp on to the bacon grease yes add the shrimp to the bacon grease it just gives it that extra flavor um this is what i like to do but you don't have to do it but i'm telling y'all who don't like shrimp covered in bacon grease like you don't go out and get bacon covered shrimp it's delicious so just go ahead and do that i'm adding all of it um add your seasonings of choice don't go too crazy on the seasonings i went a little too crazy but i mean it was still fat don't get me wrong but uh just minimize the seasoning that should be enough right there I used garlic powder, parsley, pepper, and onion powder. Also seasoning salt. Now I'm adding um, butter to the grits. And I'm going to go ahead and add cheese, cheddar cheese, and pepper.
and your shrimp should look like this you don't want to overcook the shrimp as well like once it starts to look like a little bit like pinkish whitish and white in the middle that's when it's done you don't want it to be overcooked and then it'll taste rubbery so now I'm just stirring up my ingredients the cheese that I put into the grits and the shrimp is pretty much done so we're done here that was a super quick easy meal Lonely, lonely, lonely world. Mm. Lonely girl, a lonely, lonely girl. I'm a lonely girl. Drop, drop, drop the top, just so I can flex. Lonely girl, I'm up next. I'm the best, yes. Fuck the rest, talk is cheap. So say that shit. All you hoes are relevant. Y'all are relevant. Fresh as fuck. Yeah, I talk a lot of shit, but I'm that bitch Nothing about me average Hot cold, baby, I'm savage Big cabbage If I want it, gotta get it Yeah, that's how I live Pull up with the shit, so I stay loaded Yeah, pockets kinda fat, looking bloated Kick rocks if you mad, ho, I notice Put a smile on your face, control emotions Tell my mama, gotta get it, I'm devoted Nah, I ain't got no Yeah, I did that. It tastes really, really good. So, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Do that right now. And just leave me a comment and let me know if you like shrimp and you like grits and if you're going to try this recipe. Thank you. Bye. Lonely, lonely, lonely world mm. Lonely girl, a lonely, lonely girl I'm a lonely girl Drop, drop, drop the top, just so I can flex Lonely girl, I'm up next I'm the best, yes, fuck the rest Talk is cheap, so say that shit All you hoes are relevant, y'all are relevant Fresh as fuck yeah, I talk a lot of shit, but I'm that bitch Nothing about me average Hot cold, baby, I'm savage Big cabbage If I want it, gotta get it Yeah, that's how I live Pull up with the shit, so I stay loaded